um, some certain facts about the stem cells or adipose derived stem cells what we are using as a rejuvenation tool or anti-aging tool here in the future med clinic um, in general uh, fat stem cells are the most richest source of stem cells in human body and they are adult stem cells so everybody has inside of his fat stem cells swimming which are 100 times more frequent than for instance in the bone marrow so it's the richest source of stem cells which the human body has we are doing over a little procedure like a liposuction you have to imagine uh, extraction of the fat so it's taken out by liposuction and then we are giving it to a partner laboratory where we are very close to each other like on the scientific but on the treatment side too and they are isolating these adipose derived stem cells out of your fat in general you have after this process a fraction of purified adipose derived adult stem cells just per patient so your own stem cells are the cells which are used for your rejuvenation it's never mixed to someone else so it's always specific to the person and these are by number 100 million stem cells which are stored in liquid nitrogen in the stem cell bank. Anytime you want to have a treatment, we can claim these cells back to the clinic and we are doing certain treatments with it. For instance, it's a general anti-aging where we can use them to fix certain like deficits or just make your body in total younger and better working. Good. So in nowadays, um, Adipose derived stem cells are not maybe everywhere and frequently, but in certain unique locations on this planet, they are used for different applications. And it's a growing number of treatments which are coming day by day uh, on a licensed basis, uh, public for people available. So we are talking about, as I said before, a general anti-aging, which is just an infusion of non differentiated cells into your bloodstream or locally injected into your face. But we can also use a kind of a pre-differentiated stem cell, which means we are telling in the laboratory to the cell what she will going to do and then give them back into the body. As an example, for instance, we can regenerate cartilage, the joint cartilage of the knees, for instance. If someone has a severe arthrosis, we can pre-differentiate them towards cartilage cells and inject these cells into the knee joint. And after a certain while, normally, we check a half year later, you will see that the arthrosis, so the neglect or the deficit of the of the cartilage cells is gonna wiped out so it's regenerated after half a year you will have a perfectly smooth surface of your cartilage again back same is with certain treatments uh, adipose derived stem cells are highly immunomodulative so that means if you have certain autoimmune diseases they can balance out your immune system to take away this aggressivity to your own body and that's why after uh, the disease might be therapied with it. In the future we will be able to treat also like for instance neuro diseases like Alzheimer, Parkinson, MS. These are all thinkable treatments which are at the moment in clinical trials in the pipeline for future treatments wants to have a general anti-aging but also certain therapies which are till today difficult to treat and I'm very very hopeful and um, I think we can almost promise to be able to help you and uh, get your diseases being past and history of you and uh, getting a better healthy future.